To accommodate the new liners, Harland and Wolfe decided to construct two new slipways, existing close to the drawing offices and running into the Victoria Channel. Three previously used slipways were re-engineered into two larger ones that could accept the new hulls. One and a half metres of concrete was laid as foundation for these new slipways to support the weight of the planned hulls. The most challenging construction was the famous Arrol Gantry, constructed by Sir William Arrol and Company of Glasgow, who built the famous Fourth Rail Bridge in Scotland. As you'll see on your screen, this was built over the two slipways. The gantry was 256 metres long, 82 metres wide, 69 metres tall at its highest point, and weighed 6,000 tonnes. Constructed of three rows of 11 towers, it had one central revolving crane, 10 walking cranes, and six travelling frames, three over each slipway. Four lifts and numerous walkways provided access to the ship and gantry itself. At the time of the liner's construction, about 15,000 people worked at Harland and Wolfe's Belfast Yard. They worked a 49-hour week with only half an hour for lunch, receiving about two pounds per week. Despite the tough working conditions, there were only eight fatalities reported during the Titanic's construction, five of which were actually on the Titanic. <laughs>